Most knee pain is caused by a condition called osteoarthritis. Knee osteoarthritis is very common, but because it is often not seen as a serious health problem, many people with knee pain feel unsure about how to best live their life with the problem. People often assume that osteoarthritis means their knee is worn out, but this is not the case. A growing body of research evidence is demonstrating that with the right approach and a bit of effort, people can successfully manage knee osteoarthritis even if it has become severe. This video will help you understand what knee osteoarthritis is and what you can do to manage it. First, let's meet some people who have experienced knee pain and find out how bad it got for them. Oh, it was really bad. Well, it was very sore, probably about an eight or a nine. I just couldn't stand on it. Um, it was there all the time, um, day, on a daily basis. Well, severe, severe, I'd say, um, very limiting. I've been incapable of doing anything, so pretty bad. It was excruciating pain. I, I did give up tap dancing for a couple of years. It actually makes you feel quite depressed because you can't kind of do the things that you want to do. So, you have a bad knee. The first thing you want to know is what is wrong, right? If you are over 45 years old, have had pain for over three months and it hurts when you move your knee, it's probably osteoarthritis. In most cases, you don't need to have an X-ray, MRI or blood test to know if your knee pain is osteoarthritis and it's generally best to avoid tests as they can give you the wrong impression. You might like to ask your doctor or physiotherapist if they agree you have osteoarthritis. But in most cases, unless there's a lot of stiffness, redness or rapid swelling, or you had some major trauma, it will be osteoarthritis. Arthritis is a general term for problems with the functioning of joints. Don't get osteoarthritis mixed up with other types of arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis or gout. These conditions need different types of medications. You should also not get osteoarthritis confused with osteoporosis, which is a problem with the quality of the bones rather than a problem with the joints. Osteoarthritis is a painful condition of the joints. In your case, the knee joint. People often worry that having knee osteoarthritis is going to be a really bad thing, but it may not be as bad as you think. Firstly, you need to understand one very important thing about having osteoarthritis. What your knee looks like on the inside, or on an x-ray, and what your knee feels like are two quite separate things. Many doctors and scientists tend to focus on what the joint looks like on the inside, including how the cartilage and bones look on x-rays. But what you feel often has little to do with how it looks on those scans. Experienced doctors and physiotherapists will be able to tell you that sometimes patients have very bad looking x-rays, but do not have severe pain. These people have learned what to do to keep their knees in good shape, to avoid the things they know can aggravate their pain, and what they can do to get some pain relief when they need it, despite always having the joint changes that you see on their x-ray. If you looked inside the knee joint of everyone over the age of 50, you can bet you'll find the joint does not look as good as it did when they were young. But these changes do not mean there will be pain. While almost all older people and many younger ones will have joint changes, only about a third of people over 50 experience any pain. Remember, most people have changes in their knee joints, but most people don't have any pain. What that means is that you should focus on how your knee feels and how you can make it feel better and worry less about how it looks on an x-ray. Have you ever wondered why some days are better than others? Or why you seem to have less pain when you're having a good day? Why do you have less pain when you are doing something you enjoy? And why do some people with bad x-rays have no pain at all? Why do some people even make a complete recovery from their osteoarthritis pain? Pain changes even though the changes inside your knee don't. There are things you can do to help the way your knee feels, even though it may not change the way it looks inside. So the best thing you can start doing right now is to stop worrying about how the joint looks inside and start doing something about how it feels. Like keep on watching this video. Seek help when you're having problems. 
Osteoarthritis varies greatly from person to person. You need a plan that is right for you. Here are some fast facts about osteoarthritis. 1. Pain caused by osteoarthritis is often fairly stable over many years, although there are times when pain flares up. 2. Flare-ups are periods of worse pain, but they do not mean there is any more damage inside the knee. Once the flare-up settles, your knee should go back to being the same as it was before. 3. While about one third of the population have pain in one or both knees, less than 0.2%, that's only two in every 1,000 people, have pain that becomes severe. That means you probably won't ever need to have surgery on your knee and you'll be able to keep doing the things you enjoy, even though you'll always have some changes inside your knee. You probably won't ever need surgery. People with osteoarthritis can sometimes get into a vicious cycle. This is what can happen. Your pain flares up. This makes you avoid things you think will make it worse. The flares become more frequent and you avoid activities even more. You start to lose tone and strength in your muscles and your ligaments, so even light activity starts to feel harder. Your pain increases and you start to worry about the future. You might worry that if you keep doing what you're doing, you'll make it worse. Or you might worry because you cannot do things you used to do before. You focus even more on the pain. You feel down, stressed, worried. The pain, or your low mood, might affect your sleep and you start to feel tired all the time. This makes the pain feel even worse. Activities are now even harder and your muscles are getting much weaker. You're in a cycle of giving things up losing more muscle strength and worrying more, which all leads to more pain. It's time to stop the cycle. Remember, pain does not mean you're doing more harm, and it's so important to keep active. Joints need movement. Movement makes the fluid inside the knee nourish and lubricate. Over time, exercise can help to reduce the pain. Doing some exercise can hurt at times, but there are things you can do to help the pain and make it easier to keep active. Being active doesn't cause harm, even though it sometimes hurts. Staying active is the key to doing well. Exercise doesn't wear out joints. It keeps them healthy. This is what happens when you break the cycle. You find some activities you enjoy and you strengthen your muscles. Your knee joint starts to work more normally. Your pain eases and your muscles get stronger. You feel in control and more confident. When you get flare-ups, you know it won't last and you know what to do. You sleep better and feel better. You feel less pain and you have more energy to do more with your life. Physical activity can be enjoyable and makes you feel good. Keep your muscles strong. Take control and have a better future. Now, let's hear from our people who have learned how to live well with their knee osteoarthritis. Well, I started an exercise program. Exercise does help. Um, I did the exercises to, to strengthen the quad muscles. It just helped. It strengthens both the muscles around the knee, which takes the pressure off. And it actually didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. I walk a lot now too, a lot more than I used to, because I can. And I found my other knee, my so-called good knee, is the one that has been paining me a lot more. And the exercise has been helping that too. The physio. He gave me exercises to do. Uh, the doctor put me on analgesia. Whenever I play golf now, two tablets sees me through the day. It might be sore at the end of the day, but I've been able to play. I walk every morning if I can. I try and do at least 10,000 steps a day. I mean, you feel physically tired, but my knees aren't aching at the end of it. So walking, um, I've got grandchildren, so I love to keep active with them. It, it is about making yourself get out there and, and stay active. Do stuff and sit, bike ride, swim, doesn't matter, I just try everything. I found mountain biking is, is really better for my knee. Um, but also just persevering through the pain because it actually does help. Yeah, I found even though it hurt to walk, I would know my limits, but I still walked. Keep moving if you can. Be a bit more active, uh, even in small ways. I'm really happy. I used, to, I used to 
hobble in. Now I'm walking eight, 10 kilometers, not with a pack or anything, but it's a beach walk. And, and my wife's going, you're so much better. And it's like, yeah, just enjoying it, you know? Lose some weight. I lost weight. I lost about 22 kilos. It's, it's a lot of weight to lose and I felt really good. Yeah, heat it, rest it, do whatever you need to do. The, the advice I got is just use it. It doesn't do any worse. And that's the important thing. I thought, this is doing something bad. And it, no. And it's right, it doesn't. <laughs> so if you do stuff, it gets better. If you don't do stuff and rest it, it gets worse. It doesn't feel as bad now. Yeah, it's just there now. It's just the exercise and doing it. Yeah. And I think you have to do that. Because if you don't exercise, you lose that, all that strength and then it makes it harder and harder to do anything. I learned how to engage other muscles to help that walking and so I'm doing much better. I think it don't, I very rarely get pain. I've, I've certainly improved a lot. Look, I'm really pretty good these days. I feel like it's gone. I know it can't go, but it feels like it's good and healthy and, and that it's not a problem for me. You, you have to stay positive. If you're not a, in a good spot, you know, you might sort of worry about it more, but just try and stay on top of it and just think, okay, I, I can do this. Oh, you, you need a positive attitude. You just need that because if you, if you give up, you give up. So you have osteoarthritis. What are you going to do about it?